What is up guys? Data Daddy here tonight and today we are going to try install try to install there we go uh two Tesla P40 GPUs into a uh Dell Power Edge R720 XD. So a couple things before we get started. Um and I've covered this in previous videos where um I installed two P100s in a Dell PowerEdge R720. Um, but there's some weirdness going on here, right? So these two are the Tesla P40s. And if you can see, that is a uh, 12 volt EPS, which kind of makes this super weird to uh, connect to. So anyway, I had to buy some weird parts um, to kind of make this work. But what we're looking at here is this is a 12 volt EPS to a um, eight pin PCIe, eight, uh, eight pin female in this case. Um, you guys can see it, there we go. Um, so this is gonna go from the GPU, connect to these two male uh, six plus two pin uh, PCIe uh, connectors. And then this is going to go to a male 12 volt EPS, which is gonna go into uh, the riser. So anyway, I've used this successfully in the past um, and I'll link all the stuff in this video and then put links to the other videos as well in case you have any interest in those. Um, but anyway, anyway guys, um, before or without further ado, I'll go ahead and get the next part and get the top off and go ahead and get started. Uh, getting the stuff installed. Alrighty guys, as y'all may have noticed, um, all the wires are put back um, and you know everything's kind of put back together. And that's because whenever I took all this apart, and I took this back plane out um, and actually looked at these drive bays, the drive bays are riveted to, or look to be riveted to the um, actual case itself. So it would be a massive pain to remove these and it's not really what they were intended. It looks like they're not intended to be removed or at least not by um, a non probably Dell technical professional. So anyway, you probably could. I'm not going to. I'm just going to put a single GPU in here. Um, it's unfortunate. I was hoping to get two but, um, you know, I'll go with one and see if, you know, I really need the extra, um, memory, then I will, uh, you know, fork over the extra money and go with something with, uh, more VRAM. But anyway, for now, we're going to go ahead and install, um, one Tesla P40 in that slot right there. So let me go ahead and grab that. Um, uh, let me get the riser put back in. So this guy has 250 watts and, and that plus the 75 watts coming out of this PCIe slot should be plenty um, to power the um, Tesla P40, which is a TDP of 250, I believe. All right. So there we go. Now I'm going to install this guy in this slot and we're going to go ahead and fish this in and there we go. This guy, it's all about getting the right angle and get this to go in. such a pain. There we go. Now I can just put them together. All right, cool. Right, a little click. So we're in. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, well, actually, I'll leave it out for now. Now, before we get everything tightened up or kind of locked in place, we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, cabling in or the wiring in, I should say. So we're gonna go ahead and connect these guys together. And I go into this more in another video, but this is kind of the weirdest way I've ever seen to make this work. But it's the only way I could find to make it work based on the you know, readily available aftermarket parts I could find. So, you know, there's actually a, a guy on YouTube who's gone into this a lot more depth and makes a uh, male PCIe, or sorry, male 12 volt EPS, 12 volt EPS that will work for this. But, you know, I don't want to buy a specially made cable. I just wanted to use parts I could find on eBay. So this is what I came up with. So not the greatest, but it does work. So, you know, do with that what you will. If you'd rather go the other way, I will post the um, video to that in the link in the uh, description to this video. And you can go and buy um, a custom cord from him. Oh my. There we go. There we go. All right, cool. So now, it's the messy part. Shove those, shove these in together. Shove those in there. And these fit decently kind of up here last time I did this. And then you gotta find some way to get this turned around and plugged in here. All right, and then hopefully these guys will sit. Ooh, maybe we can rotate these guys over here. There we go. That works. Not pretty, but it works. Okay. All right. It works okay. So there you go. There is the uh, cabling. Um, and then we're going to this little stabilizer guy right here. And then we're gonna put that back. And that guy is now locked into place. And voila, we are good to go. So, the only thing we have left to do now is put the lid back on, fire everything back up, and see if we can uh, de detect this GPU. All right, you guys, this is a good sign. Um, so it says PCI configuration or settings have changed. Uh, system's gonna reset, so, um, you know, that's a good sign. So, it, it, at least, has at least noticed that something, uh, some PCIe input has changed. So um, we will see when it boots, if we are able to uh, actually recognize the CPU. Alrighty guys, so I'm back upstairs now. Um, and as you can see, I've got a terminal, op terminal open. Uh, and now I'm about to uh, SSH in. Okay, so now we're SSH'd into the server downstairs we were just working on. Um, and we need to install the drivers. I don't believe I've installed them yet. So let's just see if I have. Yeah, okay. So we haven't installed them. So first thing I always do is uh, I use the command Ubuntu drivers devices. So this is gonna list out all of the compatible drivers um, with the devices we have. So, okay. So it's going to say rec recommended right here. So this is the driver it's actually recommending for us. So we can use, well, we can either use the, the command sudo, uh, Ubuntu drivers auto install. And that's going to install the one that's recommended. But um, for me, 
I'm a little bit neurotic and I just like to install it. You know exactly what I'm installing. So we're gonna install NVIDIA driver uh, 535, which is this guy right here, 535, corresponding to the recommended driver. So we'll go ahead and install that guy. Oops, sorry. There we go. So we'll wait for this guy to install. All right, guys. So it looks like uh, the drivers are installed. Now, normally you need to reboot your system, or it's actually recommended to reboot your system. But we're gonna, I'm going to see if it will allow us to find the GPU anyway. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have to restart. Uh, so let me restart the system and we'll come back and see if it can find the GPUs. All right, so it should be uh, up and running again. So let's go ahead and SSH back in. All right, excellent. Okay, so now we've rebooted. So now we should be able to run NVIDIA SMI. Excellent. And as you can see, we have NVIDIA SMI. We have the particular uh, driver version we just installed. And we can see that we have a Tesla P40 GPU. So there you have it, guys. Um, you know, this should let us know that the GPU is available for use. So we should be able to use it now uh, in any um, machine learning, deep learning, AI related project that we want. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. All right, guys, brief reminder here. If you enjoyed the content, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe so I can continue to grow and produce better and better content for you. If you really enjoyed the content, you might even consider buying me a coffee and the link for how to do that will be in the video description below. Um, if nothing else, please just give me some feedback and the comments and let me know how I'm doing, uh, if anything's unclear or if there are anything uh, that I can improve on. Thank you again, guys, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.